Why should we hire you when we have applicants with more experience or better credentials? Um, as reflected on my, my resume, I do have good customer relations experience with various levels of customers that include, you know, small managers uh, to very important clientele like the city mayor, uh, the Harris County judge, uh, Lena Hidalgo, even the uh, chief of police. I make sure that I'm always professional and that you know the customers are always happy um, now that, that way uh, you know we can continue to provide great services um, also you know I'm a very well-rounded uh, individual with different types of experience um, I've dealt with putting together daily logs and reports as needed or requested uh, these include work orders this includes uh, the things we did uh, the material the labor as well as safety uh, uh, reports, uh, including uh, individual uh, pre-tax safety plans. I've also, make sure that uh, keep track of the inventory. Keep track of the inventory and make sure that they, uh, that the employees and workers are always, you know, working efficiently. They have everything they need. That way, we can continue with the project. Make sure the client's happy and that. Uh, everyone's happy. I also have good leadership skills. Uh, my leadership skills are most present when I uh, lead a small group or a lot of times I have helpers uh, or apprentices. Uh, a lot of times I make sure that I am able to teach them as much as I can uh, to make sure that they grow as individuals and to make sure that in the future they can go back and, and uh, uh, be great leaders themselves. I always do like when I have an old apprentice and tell me, come back to me in the future and tell me, and they tell me, hey, uh, I appreciate your teachings. Uh, you knew your stuff, and uh, I appreciate your 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 teachings. And I I think that shows good leadership skills because uh, you know you you have to make sure that everyone around you gets better, and so that way they grow and I myself can grow as an individual and as a leader. Um, I'm also determined to put in the hard work. I'm not afraid from hard work. Um, make sure that I'm, I make sure that I achieve my goals personally and professionally. A great example of this is that I'm a full-time worker. I have a full-time job and I still go to school. Uh, I make sure that not also, I make sure that I do not also excel in work, but that I do and perform my responsibilities at school to the best of my ability to make sure that I achieve my bachelor's in business management. Awesome. How do you think that you can contribute to this company? Uh, I think that I have many things that I can contribute to this company. Uh, my hard work, again, translates uh, to me using my skills to make sure that the goal accomplishes, uh, I'm sorry, the company accomplishes their goals. Um, I can assist in growing the customer base. Uh, I have good experience and, uh, and, uh, good relations with, uh, a lot of, uh, clients. And like I said, I just want to make sure that we can grow our customer base and, uh, and I can use my communication skills there. Um, uh, I'm able to work with a lot of uh, different uh, ethnic backgrounds. Uh, I am bilingual. I speak both English and Spanish. And knowing that in the South Texas city, uh, there's a lot, of, a lot of residents and population that uh, the majority is uh, Hispanic, Latino uh, ethnicity. I would make I, I could help you a lot in that uh, aspect. Sounds good. Tell me about a time when you solved a difficult problem. Uh, Tom, a time when I solved a difficult problem was uh, when I worked in a city, uh, a city building in downtown. I got a call saying that a variable frequency drive, a BFD, was uh, malfunctioning or wasn't working and that the air, uh, air handler was, wasn't working. So when I went to go troubleshoot it, analyze it, I found that it was pretty much uh, 
dead. It wasn't working anymore. Uh, and again, it fed a big air handler that fed a whole uh, building, or at least half the building of 26 floors. So it, it was very critical that I got this machine up and running. So I suggested to the client, which was the city, uh, that the BFD needed to be replaced, that uh, we needed to get it up and running as fast as possible and and that they would have to make a decision uh, because it was, it was very it was one of those things that was time critical it was at that time it was the morning when they when I f was troubleshooting it and if they didn't make a decision uh, right away then you know the the time to to go find a, a BFD of that size and to make sure that you know we got the right workers and the right people to come and and uh, uh, assist in installing this uh, BFD would would be very critical. So uh, I suggest to the city, hey, we got to make a, a choice right now. Are you gonna want to uh, uh, buy a new one and 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 want us to install it? Um, and of course they did because uh, that building, of course, the city. This is a city building, but they had plenty of tenants. And it was very critical for them because uh, the tenants obviously need, need AC, you know, in order to be able to work. And again, you know, it's, it's about keeping their their clients happy, and we're we're about keeping them happy. So they went, they they gave me the green green light. I went ahead and and uh, spoke to to the uppers and and the company I work for. Uh, they sent me some help. Uh, they sent me a lot of helpers. And my goal was to make sure that they were distributed with their best assets and, and attributes to make sure that they were very efficient and um, they were very efficient and put in the right situation to make sure that uh, that the downtime was even shorter than what it was expected. And again, uh, I was able to lead. Uh, we were able to get the BFD up and running. And before the end of the day, uh, we were able to uh, analyze it, troubleshoot it, make sure that everything was running perfectly. And the next day, the customer or the, the, the tenants in that building didn't even realize that the AC had ever gone down. And um, the city was happy. And again, the clients never find, uh, the tenants never did find out, or at least they thought it was, you know, an hour or two worth of work but really it was an overnight kind of job that again uh, with my leadership skills and me leading a small group of men to make sure that everything was installed correctly that there was no hiccups and if there was to make sure that I was able to adjust uh, we were able to accomplish our goal and keep our client happy great thank you thank you